It's Shari here today, and based on the daily marker, Kathy Rakusin's 30 day color challenge, I'm going to be making a project today that is straight up coloring and not much else. So, I'm going to be using the Happy Harvest set. I want to color the little scarecrow, and I'm going to color it much like the one you can see to the left here. I colored that one a long time ago, and I really love the way he turned out. So, I want to do him again. So, I'm going to use the scarecrow. And I've got my stamps already mounted on some blocks up here. So I'm going to keep this little guy right beside me as a go-to. And I've already pulled out the colors that I use for him. Um, sometimes what I do when I color something that uses a lot of colors, I'll take a picture of the markers with my phone so I remember the colors. And I'm going to be making a little notebook using those moleskin notebooks that you'll see here in a little bit. So first thing I need to do is to stamp out my images using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to be doing Copic coloring and this is the ink that I use when I color with Copics. So I'm going to ink up my scarecrow really good here and stamp him down. I also have one of the little crows mounted to a block here so I'm going to stamp a couple of those. Um, I'm probably only going to end up using one but I usually stamp a couple just in case I mess up my coloring a little bit. So like I said before, this video is basically mostly all coloring. So I'm just going to speed up the process here and play a little music so you can see all my coloring process the whole way through. I'm going to start with his hat. And you're going to see after I color his hat, I'm going to get out some Culpic multi-liners. And I'm going to use the most thinnest pen in that set to add a little detail to him, to his hat and some patches to his clothes.
now that I've got all my coloring done, I'm going to use the coordinating dies that go with the set to cut my images out. And I'm actually using a new tape that I just got. This is the Micropore tape, the 3M Micropore tape. And I actually really like it. I love my post-it note tape, but this seems to hold a little better because it's more flexible, I should say. So like the little die here for the bird, I'll have a lot of hard time a lot of times with the uh, post-it note tape um, holding it down pretty well just because it's such a small piece it can't get on the inside but this stuff really works well and you can actually kind of see through it and see what you're doing so I've cut out my pieces here I've run it through my cuddle bug machine and I'm just going to separate those pieces from the dies I love that there is a die for the scarecrow um, I cut one out by hand at it was a lot of work. <laughs> so this cuts them out just perfectly. And then there's the little bird there. So I'm going to get out my little moleskin thing um, notebook here. And I'm sure you've seen these around. They come in lots of colors. Mine just happens to be craft paper. And I like this one because it's grid paper on the inside. I had a little pack of three that I bought. So I found them when I was unpacking. I thought this would be great for a fall project. So I plan on putting my little scarecrow down here towards the bottom and I'll put the little bird on him somehow. Just playing around with it here to figure out kind of where I want it. And I'm going to stamp some of the corn stalks in the background. Now if you noticed on the photograph at the beginning of the video, this yellow kind of fades into the craft a lot. Um, I should have tested that beforehand. You can see it really well when I stamp it here, but as it absorbs and dries, it's kind of fades in the background. But I'm just stamping some little corn stalks around. Probably would have been great in a green, but I'm using the Sunflower Lawn Fawn ink here. And I'm just varying the height at which I'm stamping them. And now I'm going to put down my little scarecrow. I'm using some um, multi-matte medium here. You can use any kind of liquid glue or you could use a glue runner but the liquid glue lets you move your piece around a little bit which is nice. So I'm going to just adhere him down and then I'm going to do the same with the little bird and put the crow right on his arm there. Now as I was doing this, I noticed that the yellow was absorbing in and kind of fading away. Um, so you'll see later I'll add a little bit to it after I stamp the sentiment. Now the sentiment I am using is the You're Amazing and it was a little too long to go straight across. So I'm just doing a little selective inking here. I'm going to ink up the amazing part first and center it up towards the top here. So there's no ink on the your part. You could also cut your stamp apart, but these two words are pretty close together and I don't like cutting my stamps apart. So be sure to clean off that part of the stamp pretty well before you ink up the next part. And I always like to run my hand across it and make sure it's dry as well because I don't want it to stamp moisture or stamp water. Now I'm gonna ink up just the your part and then stamp it right above the amazing word. And here's where I decided I wanted to stamp some more corn stalks in another color, which in the end was a good idea. So I'm using the dough ink here, which is a lighter brown. I could have gone with a green too, I think might have been pretty, but I kind of wanted to stick with the fall, the corn stalks are starting to die and fade away kind of look. So I'm just going to stamp those a little further down. The idea was so that you could see the yellow above. But like I said, it eventually faded away that you don't see it very well unless you're really looking for it. Probably a deeper yellow would have worked better. So I'm just varying the heights of these as well. It would have been a lot easier to stamp these before I had put my image down. But since it's already down, I'm being very careful to avoid stamping on my image. And that's pretty simple and I thought 
maybe I'd add something a little to the back here. And I have this um, bowl that I keep on my desk and when I color things but don't necessarily use them on a project, I go ahead and cut them out with my dies and I put them in this little bowl. And it's really great when you're trying to make something quick or you wanna add a little something, I can go and see what I have in my little stash there. So I had this little pumpkin. It's from the same stamp set, but I had colored it before. And I'm just adding it to that little flap in the back. And there's the finished project, a cute little notebook that you could use for yourself or give to somebody. So here's a closer look. And then there's an up close of that cute little scarecrow. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.